tools that we currently have for measurement of minimal residual disease include flow cytometric measurements, PCR-based measurements to detect the malignant clone using uh, the immunoglobulin gene rearrangement as a tool or the TCR T-cell receptor gene rearrangement to use as a tool for detection of the malignant clone and then amplification using PCR techniques. And the last and newest technique is next generation sequencing, which is a combination of high throughput sequencing and PCR to quickly and very sensitively detect the malignant clone. Many of the treatments that we have will be based on the detection of minimal residual disease at specific treatment time points, which will then help us guide our treatment decisions. When we find minimal residual disease early in the course of disease, when people are already in remission but still with residual disease, we know their outcomes are not going to be good. Our newest strategies in the adult world for treatment of acute lymphoblastic leukemia have to do with the addition of novel agents given earlier in the treatment that will help to eradicate minimal residual disease and result in better outcomes. We know for a fact that when one gets rid of minimal residual disease, that is having very chemotherapy or targeted therapy sensitive disease early in the treatment course, that survival outcomes are very, very good in all subsets and all ages of acute lymphoblastic leukemia.